everybody, my name is Cole with our Austin Family Adventures. This is my brother Caleb. Hi! Today we're going to do an unboxing video. Um, we remember our last video where we did the Snapship, the Lance? That was pretty fun. But now we're going to do um, an unboxing video with a Tinker Crate. And it says a Spin Art Machine. This is from KiwiCo, and it's specialized skin products for kids. Okay, I want to, okay, I'm dad karate. <laughs> You're good at karate. Yeah. Okay, um, let's um, get it out. Oh my goodness. Look at this, it's a spin art machine. All right. Oh my. This okay. might be hard to make. <clears throat> well, let's start by reading the directions. Here we go, I think these are the directions. So it talks about the included materials and it even shows a picture of what it's gonna look like when it's finished. Oh, and look, we have to use that box, that the box that it came in, in order to build this, see? It's gonna kind of look like a record player. Isn't that cool? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna get this all set up. All right, so it says step one. Oh, prepare the box. Ooh, Goodness, the box. this is, yeah. Step number one, turn the tinker crate over. Find four holes in the bottom. Four holes in the bottom? All right, so Cole found the stickers that we're supposed to use for the, for, to cover the holes and he did the first one right here. Now he's gotta do one on each four of these holes. How you doing over there, buddy? Not working. Not working? Let's try it. Oh, I just said out. Good. And make sure you cover both the side and the bottom. There you go. Perfect. All right, so he's sticking the last sticker on. So look, we've got four holes covered, just like it said in the directions. And it says that you have to press it down? Yeah, you press it down, make sure it sticks. Place the paper guide. And the paper guide is this part right here. Center on the bottom of the crate. So let's say, yeah, just like that. Centered on the bottom of the crate. Perfect. says the next one, step six, is to find the four arch shapes on the wooden disc. Perfect. Oh, and it says we have to put those right there. It does. So each, make sure you get them as close to on there as possible, okay? Right where they belong. <laughs> it's like you're driving a car. Flip the disc over and find the etched circle in the middle of the disc. This is the etched circle in the middle of the disc. See Where it? Are we gonna put find the gear. Oh, and the turn it, gear? Mm -hmm. oh. Find the gear and turn it so the bump is facing up. This one? So that the bump is facing up. And we need one of, use a white sticky foam circle to stick the gear down. So stick this down first. Stick it down. Like this. Perfect. Perfect. Ooh, nice. All right. So now it's a step number eight. Flip the wood disc back over. Push the gear down onto the shaft of the motor. Nice. 
Look at that. Look at it. It can spin. <laughs> That looks really cool. That's what it's it? called a spin art a spin machine. Spin art machine. How about that? We're gonna leave these out like like this. These flaps, the side flaps, are gonna go inside. That is. And nope, it stays up because it's gonna cut. It's gonna connect to this right here. Leave those, and then these are gonna push down. Push that little one down. Okay, it's gonna be super sticky. So we're gonna make sure that it it lines up with the top of the box. I'm gonna push it on real hard. Oh, oh it is sticky. I told ya. What if you put your hand on there? Well, then you'd be stuck like a fly trap. Look at that! There's the motor for this. <laughs> so we've created the spin art machine, and now we are getting ready to hook up the electronics. Are you ready for that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I have to put them. Perfect. Can you see how I did it? Look. See, you bend them as close to that blue thing as you can. This one right here. And we need to cut out the holes. Line up the sticky holes. That's the point right here. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, oh, is there something on this? We don't need anything with the wires right now. This flat part goes up against the spring. Push it down in, and then this goes into that little catch. Ooh, ooh, there you go. Line up the battery pack with the breadboard mount so that the switch is facing up. There's a switch on the battery pack. What does it do? It turns it on. It says that the switch is gonna go on this end. Perfect. And then we use the two white sticky foam squares to stick it down. Very good. Right. And this one has to go right there. Yep. There we go. In my hand. Thank you. And then the next one, did you get them both off? Very good. Very good. We are going to take four sticky foam squares one on each corner, okay? Perfect. We are gonna put it so that those wires are down here to connect to these wires, okay? Just like that. I'll push it on real tight. Connect the, the red wire from the battery pack to the red wire from the motor. Good. Step number 10, stick the black wire from the motor into line one on the breadboard from the motor. There you go. And then stick the black wire from the battery into line one on the breadboard as well. So just one right underneath it. Nice. Flip the switch on the battery pack to test it out. The wood disc should start to spin. Oh, <gasps> look! Tell it's spinning! Look at that! Look how exciting! Oh, it's actually spinning pretty fast. Yeah, it's spinning really fast. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these pieces of paper and the paper is gonna go in here. Oh wait a minute, are the red nope. things supposed to come they, off? Nope, they stay right there because that's gonna hold your paper in place. Mm -hmm. Yep, now put it in as a square. There you go. Perfect, perfect. So, so what color should we start with? Of course, your favorite color, which is? Blue. Blue. Yep, go ahead and turn it on. Jiggling. Can we move the, the army man guy, please? Yeah. All right. So you're going to slowly take this paint and drip it down into this. Just one little drop at a time. You're good. Make sure it's dripping on the paper. Look how cool. Now move it out to the edges. There you go. <gasps> All right. 
Now, Caleb, do you want to try a color? Yeah. All right, Cole, back out for a second. Look how pretty. Caleb, what color should should you try? Mm -hmm. Oh, can I do one more drip? Well, you can do one more drip. Caleb, you've got green, orange, oh, yeah. or Look yellow. Look at that. Nice, you got green, orange, or yellow. Green. Of course, that's your favorite color. Okay. I don't know if it's gonna splash on us. Here, Caleb, you're gonna do it just a little, a little dot. Little drop, little dot at a time. Okay. What about another little dot somewhere? Don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. What about tort? Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Oh, how about another oh. little drop? Don't touch it. Okay. Do it again. Another little dot. Another little dot. Whoa. All right. So everybody do one more dot, Caleb. Nice. Now let's turn off the spinner and see what art we made. Okay. Let's stop spinning. What if we open this up? <gasps> Look at that. It looks like a bird. Look at that, that looks like a bird. Oh yeah, it splashed yeah. everywhere. That is really cool. Oh, it also got on the side. Yeah, it does that. All right, so now we're gonna do the two colors we didn't do. And Colt, do you wanna start up the spinner? Come here, Caleb, come here. Now you get to put your first drop in. Don't touch the paper. Try again. <gasps> Whoa! Nice. Ooh. Okay, last one and then it's Cole's turn. All right, Cole's turn with the yellow now. All right. Okay, that's enough now. My now, turn. Yep, you get to do one more big blob of color. Look. That's awesome. Can mama do a color? Yeah. Well, look at it. Look wow. At it. That looks amazing. So here comes our second masterpiece. Spinning to a stop. I'm gonna open this up. Wow. Oh, that is so neat. Oh, it looks like a sunset. Wait, 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 wait. It looks like a sunset eating a dragon. <laughs> a sunset eating a dragon. That's wait. awesome. Oh. Thanks for watching this and helping us build our spin art machine. It was a lot of fun. So Cole, was this a, a one thumbs up or a two thumbs up or a thumbs down? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Caleb, what did you think? 55 thumbs up. 55 thumbs up. That's awesome. Click that notification bell and subscribe for more videos. Bye. Bye.